Hello everyone, this is Dan Gramza and welcome to Gramza Market Studies for Tuesday, March 28th. In the NASDAQ market, we break to the downside, but those buyers came back in. I do look for follow through on Tuesday. In the Dow, we traded just below that bearish level. And the magnitude change between this bullish level and that uh, bearish level is $12,000 per contract. The magnitude change between the second bullish level and the bearish level is $7,000 a contract to give you an idea of the magnitude of change of those two levels. I do look for follow through to the upside in the Dow on Tuesday. Now let's take a look at that dollar and see what's going on there. Well, in the euro, we make new highs, which means the dollar was weaker. I think we have to be cautious at these levels with that currency. And in the interest rate markets, well, they behaved as they should. The notes did get stronger, but look how it finished. I'm looking for a sideways to lower move in that market. In gold, I'm not real confident about gold, and, and also it made, made new highs, very similar to the note. I think that makes sense. Again, I'm looking not for a dramatic move up, but rather an inside day in that market. In crude oil, it just doesn't have a reason to really take off. This is bullish, but are we going to get strong movement to the upside? I really don't think so. And when it comes to the ags, well, soybeans continues lower losing some momentum we have to be cautious on the short side this could give us a bounce and i'm looking for a sideways move in that market well that concludes today's market studies thank you for being with me look forward to being with you again and as always take care